This lesson is going to be showing you how you can create a button that's going to toggle an image within your web page and it's going to be either showing the image or hiding the image and we're going to do this all with JavaScript. So we're going to create the button, we're also going to create the image element on the page and then add that in dynamically using code. And then add the event listener to the button which is going to allow us to toggle it and I'll also run through some different options that you have where you can use the main element as well in order to click that and add the event listener to that. This lesson we're going to be adding an image to the page. So we've already selected the element with the class of main. So that's the only element that we have within the tag of main and that's going to be all done with JavaScript. So first of all we want to create an image and add it into the page and set that image to display none. I've got a few images here that I've got within my source code and that's going to be one of the images that we're going to be using. So let's link to that and we'll add the image tag onto the page. So this is going to be the image that we're going to be adding. So using the document and we're creating an element and the element that we're creating is going to be an image. So it's an IMG tag. And then we want to add that into the main page. So we're just appending it to main or appending the image. So we don't have a source yet for the image, but when we go down into main, uh, we've got our image tag there. So let's go ahead and we're going to add in some attributes to that image. So the image has a source attribute and the source for the image is going to be whatever we've got for the path to that image too. So we've got it under a folder called images just off the root and this is going to be looking at image1.png. So we'll add that into the page and I can minimize that explorer so we can see the code a little bit better. So there's our image added to the page. So it's all done using JavaScript. And we don't have a whole lot happening right now with the image. Uh, so what we want to do first off is we want to hide the image. So selecting the image and updating the style. And the style that we want to update is going to be the display property for the style. So we want it to display as none. So that's going to just hide the image on the page. Uh, we want to then select and toggle the image. So toggle the view of the image. So adding in and what we want to do is we want to add a button on the page that is going to allow us to toggle that image. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in a button or we can just select that whenever we clicking the main element then we can hide and show that. So let's add that and we're going to add in the event listener on the main element and that's going to be listening for a click. So whenever main is clicked this is going to be where we're going to toggle the image. We could also add in a button it's depending on how you want to structure your code. So this is going to be when it's clicked we're going to run the anonymous function. It's going to select that image and it's going to take the image and style and do the display and update the image style display if it's equal to none then we're going to update it to be equal to block and we're going to use a ternary operator for that so this will give us a way to do some toggling of the code and if it's block then we're going to set it to none and save that. I'm going to add in some space there so it's a little bit easier to, to read. And that's the statement that's going to allow us to toggle. So whenever it gets clicked, whenever main gets clicked, and I'll also add it into the console so that we can see that it was clicked. So right now main is not large enough so that uh, let's update main and we'll add some style properties to it. Uh, adding a background color and we'll set that to be red and this is just be for main and we'll take a uh, main and style set the width for main and we'll set that to be 500 picks or we can just do it uh, fully across whatever the available space is so do 100 picks 100 percent and then let's take main style and we'll set the height for main as well and we can set that to be 200 picks. So that gives us the main element 
and whenever we're clicking main it's going to add in the image and then when we click off of it it will remove out the image so this is just so that main actually has some size to it uh, of course we could have added in a button as well so there's a number of different options here so i can run through how to do that where we're adding in the button into main so that we can click the button and toggle the button so let's update this where we're going to set it up as a button so creating a button using the document create element and the element that we're creating is going to be a button and just spell it out there so we create the button and the button is going to be uh, we'll add some text content to the button and it'll be click to toggle and then adding the button into main so taking the button and uh, we're using append the button into the main element so it's going to add in the button there and now instead of having the main element let's comment these out and we'll update this to use the button in order to toggle the image on and off so there's a couple options there uh, in order to show and hide the image